is the highest offer always the best offer? Hi, I'm Jose Medina with Keller Williams, and today we're gonna to discuss, is the highest offer on your house actually the best offer for you to take? So when we think through this, one thing that we wanna consider is uh, the biggest overarching theme of what we're gonna talk about is how do we make sure that we get from the offer point to the closing point, right? What's gonna give us the least amount of obstacles to make sure that we cross the finish line? So the first thing that we look at uh, to decide which offer we're gonna take is what kind of financing is the buyer working with, right? Are they cash? Are they conventional? Do they have 20, 30% down? Are they FHA or VA? So these are all things that we're gonna kind of dissect and, and figure out what is the best offer for you to take. And so real life story, I just had a, a, a client uh, of ours that had multiple offers and they decided to take an offer that was about $7,000 less than the highest offer that we had. And it was because this buyer had more money down and we felt like that was gonna get us across that finish line uh, more likely with a, with a more qualified buyer. The second thing is, uh, did the agent and the buyer write in any type of appraisal clause that they will make up a percentage of the uh, low appraisal? One of, one of the biggest hurdles right now that we're seeing is how do we navigate through the appraisal? So was the agent um, skilled enough to write in an appraisal gap clause? So that's another thing that would consider of what is the truly the best offer. The third thing is, um, what kind of inspections does the buyer have, right? Um, are they doing a whole gamut of inspections? Did they limit the inspections? Did they write in a clause about as is? So these are all things to consider as you're thinking through what is the best offer on my house. And the last thing I would say is <clears throat> that the quality of the agent and the quality of the lender of the buyer has never mattered more. And so uh, is the agent um, a person of, uh, reputation, do they have, are they easy to work with? Are their buyers good? That all matters. And then is it a good local lender that uh, always stands behind their pre-approval letter and has a good reputation? So these are all things to consider. So <clears throat> a lot of times the highest offer isn't the best offer actually. And so, but these are things that a professional can navigate you through as you're kind of looking at multiple offers. So uh, if you have any questions about what we talked about or want a, one of our team members to sit down with you to kind of talk through this this market and, and, and how we can help you, uh, we'd love to, to connect with you. My information's below and um, thanks for watching.